Well, hey y'all, we're out here with the CZ457 varmint in 22 Magnum. We're going to do that penetration test I promised you guys. We're going to be using these uh, these uh, federal small game loads. They're 50 grain bullets. They're doing uh, 1,530 feet per second at the muzzle according to the box. And uh, they are hollow point copper plated uh, bullet and we're going to see how they penetrate in some water jugs so uh, let me get you guys turned around we'll uh, see if we can zoom in on them water jugs down there and we'll give it a go there's seven gallon water jugs set up down there yeah I think you can see that pretty good Let's, uh, let's feed, uh, feed them and see how, uh, how far that bullet gets. How many of you guys think it's going to get? I think it'll probably get through uh, at least three and probably stop in the fourth jug. That's what I'm predicting. We'll see. Here we go. Well, I did something. Let's go down there and see how we did. Looks like we busted two of them up pretty good. We get you guys set up here on this tripod. Just have to work with me, guys. I'm doing everything by myself. So. I should have numbered these jugs, but I didn't. But I believe this here was the first one. And you can see I hit it a little bit low. Busted into this one somewhere. I don't see no bullet. Uh, we got a bleeder right here on that third jug. Let's see if we got that bullet in there. I believe we do. I believe we do. I see an exit hole back here and a bleed. Oh, there's something there. We'll see here in a minute. We did not capture that bullet in that one. Here's the fourth jug and we got a we got another bleeder. We got the bullet in this one. I think I'm going to have the right prediction. Went through three gallons of water and stopped in the fourth. It is guys made a little mushroom held together good I'll take it back there and put it on the scale see how much weight it lost there you have the penetration test guys we know where she'll do now I had a viewer I know uh, fellow that views my videos quite a bit and 
he was telling me he uses these on coyotes so it stops them in their tracks. Alright man, y'all have a good one.